Hello everyone, welcome back to Fable Heyman Total War, War Hammer 3, the unholy Talion of Nurgle. Epidemius returns in patch 5.1. The goodest boy is here. Of course, Tyranach will not be appearing in our campaign because he is only available to Cornate Legendary Lords and to those of Chaos Undivided. And we are neither. Also, you have to start a new campaign if you would like to recruit him. So, that's a thing. Hopefully there is no issues with compatibility. I think the campaign will be fine, and we can continue on our journey. On top of 5.1, which by the way, if you'd like, you can find a full link to the patch notes in the description down below. Most of the changes will not affect us. There were a few balance changes for Nurgle and bug fixes. But for the most part, it was focused on multiplayer. They have to eat too sometimes. And uh, the addition of Karanak. And there were some mechanical changes. Ooh, a rogue army came in. Uh, ogres can now actually be knocked over. Just like everybody else. And... Hey, look. We got some stuff. And there were... Some changes to collision. There is now collision damage, which affects like chariots and ramming stuff. So that should make them better. I'm still not going to use them on my Exalted Heroes of Nurgle, but they should be more effective. We can hope. Now, it's been a while, so it's time to refresh. We are here as Epid... Oh, right. First, that. the second thing is since the last time I played, they have announced in a dev diary that was like in video format. What's next for Total Warhammer 3? They talk primarily about the DLC, which will be a DLC for Corn the Greenskins, and the Ogre Kingdoms. And uh, I'll leave a link to that in the description as well if you are interested to go uh, check it out. I was really happy. They said the focus is going to be on the Immortal Empires. They'll still do updates and stuff for the Realms of Chaos, but IE will be the focus, which makes me really happy because I love the Immortal Empires. Okay, goal. Besides Epidemius returning home to deal with all of this. The goal is to achieve long vic not domination long victory conditions a long campaign victory and we are approaching it we have 45 out of 80 uh, settlements we've destroyed rasputin and uh, we're on the way to destroying the ice courts we also must hold the settlement of talapheim which is over here once we achieve this victory condition hey it's the emperor once we achieve this the Order Tide will come to stop us with the with their crises. So the Dowie, the Asrae, will all take up arms to stop us. The what else? Sorry. And uh, the Greenskins will join in the fight as well. They're, of course, not a part of Order, but they're never ones to miss out on a good fight. We are the sickly yellow color, and it's going well. We do have a few friends, which is atypical of chaos, but I haven't found the Nemesis Crown, so I'm going to make use of it. Speaking of friends, I know, courtesy of the blessings of Grandfather Nurgle, that Kislev is in grave danger. And so we are going to call forth a Chaos Lord of Nurgle, who had his own bug fix, I don't remember what it was, with unearthly reflexes to defend Kislev against the Emperor of Mankind. There's also another bug where the the red line wasn't affecting units for Nurgle, or maybe it was like a special unique lines. Anyway, like I said, lots of bug fixes. Feel free to leave the patch notes if you are interested. It was a huge patch. I think it was a W patch as well. I think they did great with it. Do we try death heads? Are you going to have the most expensive army I could possibly... Oh my god, what the heck? Why is your upkeep so insane, bro? Bro, your upkeep is mad. You have to stay somewhere. So the mortal chaos lords, they do like having mortal infantry. So we'll try and give them some chaos warriors. We'll have um about two warrior or sword and shields and then a few of those. Now we're out of money, but good news, I can fix that. This is something I've been planning to do for some time. We're going to our friend Astrogoth, and we're going to give him this settlement. Kerik Vlag. And he's going to offer me, ugh, oh, fat cash. 
So that, first of all, that gets that out of my hair. But it also... Oh, did you have a settlement there? Whoops. Versus me an outpost there. That gets rid of that for me, so I don't have to deal with it. It also gives me some fat dough to work with. Now, we do have a gold mine here in Wolfenburg, and I really don't want to lose those. But because of that gold mine, we can recruit a whole bunch of stuff. Corpulent, sure. Cultist. I wonder if the collision changes will affect the altars. Oh... Scaled skin, missile resist, fizz res. Does it get better than that? It doesn't. Whoa, and then we'll be going with a Chaos Sorcerer of Nurgle. Huh. These are kind of garbage, but we'll go with Hideous Visage. That's that's Nurgleite appropriate. And speaking of being Nurgleite appropriate, I did finally implement some name suggestions. Thank you, Brian. These were many, many long ago. But they're here now. First up is Death's Web for our Chaos Sorcerers of Nurgle. I love the Chaos Sorcerers. They can get on the Rappies, and they actually turn into relatively good fighters. So they can go around with your Doom Legion of your ganking squad of smack and stuff. And uh, in honor of his name, I gave him the Forbidden Rod Stroke. Appropriate. Another one for a and R is the Downtown Brown Note. The Brown Note is an urban myth where there's like a sound that you can plop down. And um, we'll give the Scarecrow Band into one of our Bail Toy. Where, like, a sound hurts or whatever just makes people expel their bowels. And there's actually a, um, a Nurgle event related to it. So, good suggestion, excellent suggestion. Again, apologies it took me so long to um, implement it. Tomarcon is getting Lightning Strike. Every legendary lord, excuse me, lord must have lightning strike and by golly gee they all will in time hopefully we can hope Tomercorn's kind of on his own solo mission over here um, taking revenge on Grimgore who killed him when he was an NPC I barely managed to snatch the confederation away from him before Grimgore put him in the trash can. You know, just Grimgore things. ANR is a little busy. I guess we can take Weissmund. Now, I have a little bit of a predicament over here with ANR the Ascendant, who's been fighting off against the Empire by himself for ages. And that is, what exactly does ANR do? Does ANR continue his rampage over here in the West? against Tati? Or does ANR kind of collapse and reunite over here? I forgot he still had the, the Griffinwood to kind of smack this and put them in their place. Somehow the Dowie are not at war with me. I'm really not sure how. I gotta be honest. <laughs> but somehow. And we have this little cultist who is making his way towards the cafe to spread the love of Grant. Arthur. There we go. Now, perhaps most importantly, I am trying to get to the state of endgame armies. I assure you, a task that's taking some time. Which is why I didn't really want to build this stack from Rulik and Spike Taker, but let's just say Grandfather Nurgle has warned me of grave danger. Grave. Terrible danger. And so we're going to. Apparently there is a bug where these, the minor settlement upgrades, were three population to get to tier three, and there's supposed to be two. How much population has been thrown away? The worlds may never know. Money, money, money. I love my money. That's basically the goal here, just get get more cash. I will never leave this. My gold mine. My Arrakis. That might be the first Dune reference I've made. <laughs> that, that could be. You're fine. Unless there's something I want to build here with infections. I think I want to spread a plague. Because A&R is in a fantastic position over here. We can plop it here and it can just go 
absolutely insane. Now, what sort of plague do we wish to spread? Hmm. It could... Ooh, this is a blessed plague. Unfortunately, not an ideal blessing for us right now. I can give this to ANR, and we'll give so we'll give ANR armor and campaign map movement range, I guess. And if it spreads to a settlement, it'll give it growth. I don't want him to give it growth, do I? No, I don't. We'll do that one instead. Casualty replenishment, melee defense, and campaign movement range. Fantastic. And hopefully it will spread to Weissmund, and then it will spread to Altdorf, and then it will spread to Glory, and then we're all going to be happy. Now, another goal I'm trying to achieve, preferably before we find the Nemesis Ground, <laughs> is I really would like to absorb Big Daddy Kugath. Unfortunately, Big Daddy Kugath doesn't want to be absorbed. So, you know. Welcome to the court. Stop. I'm down. Again. That is, of course, Drazhoeth, the exalt. Excuse me, the Ashen. The exalted was from uh, the Age of Wonders playthrough. That was so long ago. That still, to this day, I think that was one of my hardest campaigns. This is a V Devil. The Emperor calls. I need to make sure that our our new friend here builds up as soon as possible. The Court of Liberis. Weissmund was indeed plagued. Fantastic. And as Epidemius, for each plague we have on a non-Nurgle settlement. Or is it non-friendly settlement? Don't know. We, uh, we get benefits, so hopefully we can keep that number high. That is, of course, the goal. Do I think I can protect this? I'm not sure, but I'm going to try. And before I get too carried away upgrading stuff for money... Rejoice. Decay is here. We want to make sure that Rulek Spike Taker has what he needs. I think we go Choo Choo. Should we try the new collision with the Choo Choo? Choo Choo, motherfucker. Do you have a Choo Choo? You don't have a Choo Choo? What is this crap? Hmm. We want to make sure we reserve all of our allegiance points with the World Walkers for. Huh. I was going to say that we reserve it for Temichan's stack. Because he gives benefits to the Femir and whatnot. But, I mean, do I say no to a Chaos War Shrine? <laughs> what is your War Shrine effect? Giver of Glory, Fizrez. Yeah, okay. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Hmm. You could get some blunderbusses. That would be funny. But I kind of want the choo-choos. The choo-choo, you know? Now, for Epidemius. We have a few choices here. I think the best bet is to get rid of this. This is a Pyrrhic victory with some pretty hefty losses. Pretty hefty losses. Now, I do remember the rules, and so shall you. That, uh... Well, you know what I could do? Of course. Oh, but if I light... Hmm. I can lighting try just to get rid of the guy so I can auto it and it'll be easy. Or I could pull them in to try and get rid of them so they don't go running off into the middle of nowhere. Hmm. Let's fight it! The rule, of course, that I mentioned earlier is that I am a gracious host and I'm sparing you from the loading screen. 
It wasn't too bad, but also, thankfully, I can just stand here. I mean, we're going to rip the holy hand grenades, but I'm just going to stand on top of them. Doctors hate this one trick. It's the demon spew. Yeah, the debuffing demon spew. I don't know why I have this Nurgle, or this Nurgling in my stack. I really don't. I think what we're going to do is we're going to have the Exalted Heroes. That's these two. Just go shoot some stuff. I mean, not shoot some stuff, but, you know, just walk on top of things. Do we think the, the Soul Grinder of Nurgle can deal with that? What are we being shot? Oh, they're fine. One of the soul grinders was affected by the patch, right? It wasn't this one, though. <laughs> I mean, maybe it was that one. There were some changes to, like, the explosive and some other word I didn't understand. What was that word? Calibration. I mean, I know what calibration means, like, you know, in the dictionary, but I don't know what it means in the terms of the, uh, the soul grinder. We gonna fight yet? Where are you going? Here we go. And Epidemius has so many buttons. Right. Uncle for uncles in there as well. I guess that's just an AoE. I thought that was an attack. Right. Oh. Right. And have a free... You know, I still don't have, like, an actual spawn. You guys break the doors? You did. Great. If I were... You know what? What if I just run here? There you go. Just run. Yeah, they're, they're fine. They're fine. I don't want the soul grinder here, to be honest. I'm just gonna put him in the corner. How's this going? Hmm. Let's do fecundity. I could even do an overcasted fleshy. Let's do that. Perfect. Oh, I forgot to put you in there. Do you not have the... Oh. Alright, they made it so the greater gate of Nurgle takes time now. Ooh. Can't get farther away from that. You got stuck. Follow Kazik. Where is Kazik? Kazik? Hmm. He actually probably should kill those. Could kill those. If he wanted to. How's this going? Oh, hey, there's an elemental bear here. The frozen heart, excuse me. Don't worry, the unit that just died is unimportant. Go all the way to the corner. It was just uh, the summon. No big deal. Isaac is making his way over. He'll be fine. I wonder if I can just cheese this entirely. Like, obviously, my goal here... Did something else just die? My goal here... is, um... just wipe as many of these as possible. What, you thought it was to take the settlement? No. But if I wipe as many of these as possible, and these guys don't seem to be reacting, so I can just take this, and then go up here, and take this, and then win. Easy. I think that's the play. We have a Chaos War Shrine in here as well. Did you get to a cap? You can also see how effective healing is now. Oh, that was a spell. Who's casting spells in here? No. This character was casting spells. And she died. Okay. Let's see. How are my, my boys doing? There's a tower here. 
Well, uh, I think we've won, team. I think we've won, and it's caused the least amount of pain possible. Cool. Well. Ooh, they want to fight. I hate to break it to you, but you're not going to win this. These are two anti-large dedicated characters. And, um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, good job. You tried your best. And, um, see you in a bit. GG, we did it. <laughs> they were gonna try stopping me, but hey, it's too slow. Now the real question. Oh, look how damaged they are. Completely wiped out. The real question is going to be how much of them is left. They did survive, unfortunately. But this amount can be taken out by any garrison, I think. Probably. I don't know if these, even at this low health, they could run over some Nurglings, but hey, that's what the Plague Bears are for. All right, Epidemius, what were we doing with you? Your combat tree's not done. Really? Okay. I mean, sure. We have Mentor for Krom Avan de Mortem. Rami boy. You're not getting your chariot back. They may have made changes to collision, but you're not getting it back. I hate the Chaos Warrior chariot. This also was supposed to unlock passively, apparently. The Ultimate Riders. I still don't have access to Chaos Knights. And yes, I am a little bummed about it. Sure. The Jade Tondo can have some uh, charge. Alright. You lot are going that way. Fantastic. Fantastic. You know what? I'm just going to right click this on the off chance that I forget. There's actually just an exceptional chance I forget. Tomercon, how's it hanging? Okay. Looks like it's hanging well. We'll just go take your capital. There is a diamond mine here. Don't mind if I do. Speaking of chaos chariots, no. I will build walls here. Despite how seemingly unnecessary they are. Tamarcon, go get lightning strength. One off. Of lightning strength is so bloody important. Especially if you are playing with um, any of the crises turned on. You need it. Absolutely need it. We are not going to do the chariot. One of the main reasons is because look at his melee defense. 29 melee defense. Unacceptable. What are you, a Forsaken? Oh, I suppose in one aspect of the word. But no, no chariots. No chariots allowed. A&R. How's it hanging? Now, A&R might you. be able to take out Dorf. I see wisdom eludes you. I don't know. Seems very unlikely. It seems quite unlikely. I think I'd rather take this. Yeah. Here at Victory, losing only a Chaos Warrior with great weapon. But let's let's build some stuff, shall we? A deluge of slaughter. And we have Grog still working on stuff. We have eight grand to work with. Here's to recruiting your things. We have the Frolicker's Bubonic, if we'd like to bring them back into the fray. And 346 infections means we can try, possibly, to push things along. We could get a great and clean one. We don't have too much of the great unclean one tech. So I'm not sure if it's the, the wisest thing in the world. Hmm. 
What cycle are you on? If I push you... You at the start. You were at the start. Oh. Hmm. Okay. That's annoying. Hmm. Oh, here, we'll push you. That means I can get a Chaos Spawn. The Chaos Spawns of Nurgle have the... The, the Cloud of Flies, it's called, I think. Yeah, look at that, we have a spawn. Perfect. A spawn in two Bile Trolls, I think that'll do. Can we try some uh, death head drones? I do have a name suggestion for one. They've done okay. We'll get one more great weapon. We make sure we have room for three more units. You're still at ten allegiance. I'll try and get a second train here. A second choo-choo. You know what, because I have a name suggestion for it, let's get some of the death heads, shall we? We'll get two. The name suggestion I have is or one of them. Interesting. Great name. Those are all the name suggestions I had. So if you have any more uh, that you'd like to see, feel free to let me know. Otherwise I'll just name them randomly and with seemingly no reason whatsoever. They're doing well. I mean, that's a lot of infections per turn. I like it. I respect it. I should probably build walls here, though. We aren't really lacking in the infections per turn department. As of right... Meow. I'm looking for money. Money? Money. Money? Money? Uh, let's build the control building here. You. Money? Commandments. We go infection and Nurgle corruption. Remember, in this area, we are also fighting with the Dawizar corruption, which I think is just chaos corruption. But, uh, it's there. Hashit's influence is felt by all... Uh, and we must remind him that Hashut is not in the Dark Pantheon. This is very unfortunate. This is unwinnable. You might think this is winnable. But it's not. He took no damage. Ah, I have been assaulted by Taddy. Well, Taddy, if you want to fight again, allow me to remind you why I am a sin. Taddy has so much infantry, and I'm just going to giggle. So because Taddy's coming at me, I can actually play with this terrain, which is hilarious. Nurgle playing with terrain? What is this? Who are you? And what have you done with my normal Nurgle forces? Are these both? No, only one of those, the anti-large variant. Okay. Remember our... Our boys can get knocked down now. Flanking Nurgle cavalry. Never thought I'd see the day. Choo-choo! I love the choo-choo. Oh, yeah, this is the army that has double cultists. Interesting. And then we have the Rotting Riders. These are the Rot Knights who are anti-large specialists. Sometimes when you have, like, dedicated anti-large or anti-infantry cavalry, they are still effective enough. Whoa. 
that they can get away at doing things they weren't meant to do. But I gotta be honest, I'm not sure that we fall under the category here. Now, Toddy. What are you shooting at? Toddy does have the mid inland rune fang. So it's worth noting. But he's not going to be the most useless character in the world. Okay. We're fighting this guy somehow, for some reason. You're going to go crump those guys. Tawny is dying. We are in the trees, so... We have a glyph here. You guys can shoot there. I don't know why you aren't moving, a &R. Make sure we're leeching, Toddy. Make sure you guys are going that way. Okay. Choo-choo! Choo-choo, motherfucker! Hey, you guys want to get involved? That'd be great. Go around. Actually, we should probably come over here. How are you guys doing? You're doing great. Mm, um, what are those things called? The little flying furies were nerfed a little bit. They were kind of OP, but they have been brought down. Oh, I don't have a blob attack, do I? Hmm. Choo choo. Make sure we go tie stuff down. Cleanliness is blasphemy! Cleanliness is blasphemy! The Furies are about to be leaving us. Forget a fecundity? Sure, why not? Not like it's necessary. These guys didn't even get into combat. The micro is slipping. You know what? I'll even cast a fleshy on these three units. Tell me I won't. Easy game, easy life. Hey, you want to face the great unclean one? It's not even real? Your efforts will be wasted to fight for fighting him, but you can still fight him if you want. Who is this? Ah, perfect. Greetings! I suppose this is another reason to get the Great Unclean One attack, because you can summon them with the Cultus. Go, my toads! My toad legion! Let's go, Choo Choo. Pop that button. How fast are you with that pop? 75! Not bad. Toddy has come out against me. And Now, because this is a defensive fight on a siege, I am going to take my... Take a moment to kill everything humanly possible. A most decisive victory. Look at that. I gave Downtown Brown Note a name, and he got 250 kills. Second place. Only after Choo Choo, motherfucker. And you know what? I think it deserves that name. 100 infections, 3% replenishment, or 1270 favor. We offer them in favor of Grandfather Nerg. Somehow Felix slipped away. That slippery bastard. I do not wish to waste so, time. You would like peace for five grand. Sure. Thought about that for a while, but uh, we did lose a few settlements, but no big deal. We also got the Gambler's Armor, which is probably the best gray armor in the game. Uh, five armor, eight percent ward safe. You just love to see it. Grimgore has failed in his wa. 
Grimgor, you bitch. Do you know how long I was walking? <sighs> Son of a biscuit. Oh, yeah, our, mana our unholy manifestation is full, so now I can just instantly heal a stack if I feel like it. Uh... Fine, you know what? Whose plague is this? This is mine. Just for that. I was going to plague you, but I can't. I'm going to spawn another one. What play do we want to spread to... Uh, I like how this became blessed right after I did it. Right. Corruption. Sure. Now, the reason why I'm doing this via cultist despite... Or the reason why I'm doing it this way, I could just, you know, attack this. But as he is my ally, he wouldn't like that. And I'm hoping that I can just kind of waddle through here and then spread the thing to Cathay. That's the entire plan. This little bitch. How dare you. How's this going? The Crusade! Wow, look how effective we are. Here, I'll take it. The Talisman of Endurance. More war save. See, isn't that weird? A gray a gray item has the same war save as a green item. I'm not the only one who finds that peculiar, right? Ugh, just take forever to get over there. I do have a quest to go mess with the enemies of Daddy Guga. Defeat an army belonging to the enemies of the Poxmaker of Nurgle. The plus 40 relations is really nice, but I'm kind of busy. I'm kind of doing something, you know? We do finally have Lightning Strike, but um, at this point we might as well just go all the way to Renowned and Feared. Then we'll grab Mentor. You are grabbing Pit of Shades, which is still a pretty good spell. It's, um, Overcast Armor Piercing was pretty heavily nerfed, but I think it's still a fantastic spell. Warlord and Conqueror. Machine. a &R. Oh, yeah. We could get the Purple Sun for the lulz, I guess. a &R doesn't have Lightning Strike? Oh, dear. Okay, well, we need to rectify that situation right quick. This is the plague ridden who rides along the side, ANR. I wouldn't mind some more magic for him, I guess. In a perfect world, actually, we never cast magic with this guy. Because ANR will trigger both the Children of Nurgle passive and the Life Leeching passive whenever he casts a spell. But, you know, there may come a day when we have so much WOM where it doesn't really matter. I don't really want to upgrade either of these. It is worth remembering, uh, while I am enjoying slapping Grimgore for his ignorance, I wish you didn't have to do this. I wish anyone else could do this, but... Grimgore will return. When the ultimate crisis triggers for 20 places. And he will be big mad. Okay, now our goal is to go over here and eradicate them from here. You may be wondering, perhaps rightfully so, what my. Uh, interesting. Cavalry and chain units cost hair. The how far this series is gonna go, and that's a great question. I don't know. I can guarantee you that this will go until long victory. After that, it's up in the air. 
should be the easiest decisive dump of my life. A&R just like walks in there and they all fall over. I will build walls, which again, they don't seem to really be that useful, but... They're here. Can I get another choo-choo? They will march with joy. Oh, you know, I should get a shrine. Ooh, a chosen. Choo-choo? Choo-choo. Okay, we have a choo-choo. We have a chosen. So much for the shrine. This is going to be pretty hefty, isn't it? What? Why is this one 275 upkeep and this one is 308? They're the same thing. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, Grog will come back. Interesting. I didn't know that. I mean, he is technically a legendary hero. Or... Er, hero, yeah. Kind of. Is hero what you call those? I think agent is the most accurate description of what those are. Back in my day, the agents used to be primarily... How did this work? Oh my god, it was so long ago. You could basically have the little heroes standing around in either your territory or other people's territory in other to in order to trigger effect. So you would see just a bunch of random ass heroes standing around like reduce control or reduce winds of magic. It was really bizarre. I respected it, of course, but it was really bizarre. Big Daddy Kugath continues to slowly like me. Anyone else like me? You have a mission. What's up, bro? You would like me to defend. Def defend. How do you defend an army? I'm going to kill this lady. Thanks, bro. Who else has a mission for me? What do you want? Oh. Yeah, I know. Hey. All right, sure. Get some trains going. I imagine you're... I assure you your life will be better with trains. Just, I promise. Get some trains. Everything will seem better. Astrogoth is in danger. Fort Yakova is dead. How oh, unfortunate. Castle von Rauken is dead. How unfortunate. This tallyman I want you to go away. Oh, you lost, um... Is this called Hurricane? He lost it to Hurricane, but is the settlement called Hurricane? Nice. So we were going over here for, like, economy-related stuff. And I still think that's not a bad idea. Honestly. Oh, we could also go military stuff. You know? All characters gain weapon strength and experience. I kind of like that. So this is the, the great unclean one re tech over here. Which, I mean, we're, we're just starting to roll out the GUOs, so it's not that big of a deal. I don't know. I feel like I kind of have the most of what I want. Free money's pretty cool. Oh yeah, this is what I wanted, wasn't it? The uh, reduced cost for Plague. But like I said, I'm making so many of them, I really don't care. Let's go down the, the demon tree. Why not? Epidemius' stack isn't strong enough. Trace the steps along the track. 
There's the golden knight. I might need to go down. I really hate that I lost Wolfenberg. I'm going to be even more annoyed if um, Wolfer takes it. Rulek is level 2. You always go Root Marcher. Do I have anything for you? I could merge these together, but the Gambler's Armor is so good. Oh, I can merge these together, but I'm not even going to bother. I'm not even going to risk it. Oh, Talisman of Endurance. There's a weird bug where whatever you make goes to the very bottom. I don't quite know how to parse that yet, but... Um, we'll go Tormentor's Sword. Not bad. Do you inflict fear already? You cause fear, but not terror. That's okay. Alright. Oh, yeah. Watch this. Oh! Yeah, that could be fun. Sure, we'll give it to you. You're new. Why not? So he has one turn. Wouldn't it be just supremely annoying if Franz interrupts this? Just one more fuck you from the Franzi boy. Okay, so either I can go south to take care of these two settlements. I'm going to try and uh, take out Grimgore. I am trespassing, trespassing through Jean Negrons. Uh, you're not my friend, are you? Hmm. This faction holds a region of paramount importance. It cares little for what happens beyond its borders and will defend its realm to the exclusion of all else. You're not actually in a pact with the other Dawezar. Interesting. Hmm. I forgot you were alive still. See, is in this weird spot where I can't actually build an outpost in a settlement, so I really don't care about our alliance. Hashtag just warriors of chaos things. I'd have to find a... I could fix that myself. I'd have to find a dark fortress and give it to him. How are you still alive? Attacking the elf seems like a terrible idea. It's an inevitability of mind you. So do I go over here to clip all this crap, or do I go here to the hearts? I like how there's still works here. Excuse me, ogres. This is all raised. Hmm. Is there Skaven in the area? There is Skaven. Wow. Okay. I mean, sure. I think I go take care of this, Sim. My hand hovers close to my blade. You are at war with nobody. How is that possible? Huh. Interesting. The Empire. Well. I'm already over here. I'm already alone. Let's just go deal with this. For destruction. Who has an underskill? Ah, yes, of course. You. Sure. And Cultus is slowly leveling. Slowly learning. This ink is frozen! They screwed me a fresh batch! Frozen? Okay. Go, Frangnus. Don't get killed by Grimgore's hero. What's up, Astrogoth? I'm going to be to join the war against the mercenaries. I'm a little busy.
I wonder if I could actually kill Grimgore. The rule of thumb is that when you're facing Grimgore, you never fight him. Um, manually? Late game in the campaign. Because it's just a, it's a recipe for disaster. He's like unkillable. Hemry is a reasonable power. Wow. Oh my goodness. How fucking dare you? Again, he killed them. Okay. Yes. This is a Pyrrhic victory. Do I try it? I can't lightning strike off his uh his garrison. Let's let's stick to the rule of thumb, shall we? If he didn't have a garrison, I'd try it, but I'll take it. Oh hey, this completes my um I think. I'm down to eight infections. That's not enough infections. And by infections I mean plagues. Zaytans must be having fun. Look, I've killed Grimgor, I've taken his capital, I have crippled him. Please do something. My Dawizar companions. Renowned and feared. Oh, you get greater arcane conduit. That's cool. Usually that sort of thing is reserved for, um... Zinch. Warlord and conqueror. Sure. Do I really want to do this? Probably. And you guys need stuff as well. I don't have enough items. Hmm. The Forbidden Rod. Who would like to stroke their Forbidden... You can stroke your Forbidden Rod. Udulcidious. Or should I call you Darth Sidious? Your arrogance blinds you, Master Yuda. The other Stricture Shard might actually not be bad. What's up, Katarin? Bye, Katarin. Oh, you both had a quest for her. Wow. Oh, you took the towel. That's fine. Hey, can you attack that instead? Oh. Where the hell were you? You were going to Marienburg? Bro. No. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. Down to seven settlements. What's to come of me, team? My plagues, they wither away with time. Um... Hmm. Well. No time to waste. That's fine. We'll just go this way. I could get bloated carcass for... Oh, I need to get rid of that stuff, don't I? Let's get all of it. It doesn't matter what it does. It, it doesn't matter. Just get it all. Well, I can say that this is relatively secure. I wonder if I could buy that. Probably not. The AI doesn't like to trade their units. Which is why they offer so much so much when you trade a capital city. Can we do this? Bronzy would probably try and take this fight. We don't have too much healing here. Blessed. 
literally full combat. I want to infect the force, yes. Infection for one and all. Perfect. Bronzy boy! A valiant defeat. My oh my. Let's see if uh, I can change that. Now, one of the reasons why this is a valiant defeat is because Bronzy Boy has a pretty incredible fighting, like, single entity Doom Legion. There's the Sunmaker. And he also has a Sunmaker, which is, um, really bad. There it is. So what I could do... Oh my, look at that freaking range. Hmm. So with the Sunmaker, our options are to either completely ignore it, which is possible, or to embrace the fact that we're, there are going to be losses. Look at that, it's perfect. So what we're going to do is in classic Nurgle faction, fashion, we are going to embrace... I need to try and, like, spread the all fuck out. That there will be losses. Exalted hero of uh, you three. Yes, come together. Now we have our, our plague drones here, led by Ickersting. And these guys are okay. They are, like I said, they are basically our only ranged option. Um... We'll see how good they are. We have our Soul Grinder, who is going to be using his bombardments to hopefully weaken what little front line they have. They are mostly a ranged unit. And, of course, we have our Choo Choos that I'm really hoping are just going to run everything over. And we have the War Mammoth War Shrine. Now, we're familiar with War Shrines because of the Nurgland War Shrine. This one, however, is a Mammoth. I mentioned that already. And will be hopefully providing us with Fizz Res along the way, which will affect pretty much everything um, the enemy's doing, except for Kronzi's damage. The Giver of Glory. And with the Great Icon of Despair, it's going to be minus 10 leadership on top of inflicting fear... Terror, excuse me. So, it has really bad leadership itself, but that should be okay. And hopefully we can have all of our little boys stick together and help each other out in their time of need. So. Let the shit show begin. You're doing great. They might kind of come towards us. We can hide in the trees here with the big boys. And remember the Sunmaker is best against infantry. And Nurgle infantry is pretty tightly contained, so... Oh, okay, that was unexpected. A pleasant surprise, to be sure. Lol? Game? Do you not know how this works? Okay. I mean, I'm cool with that. Are those iron signs? No. Nope. I have an idea. Let's take our anti-infantry weaponry and shoot at the smallest flying unit in the game. I don't see how this could go wrong, honestly. I think this is only good shit. Choo-choo, motherfucker! Literally my favorite unit. <laughs> I think the Iron Demons are so funny. I think... Uh, do you think I fooled them? Choo-choo. Alright, War Shrine. Go do War Shrine things. Okay, I need you three, four, to go face Emperor Franz. Choo-choo! shooting over there. 
We have the War Shrine coming. I need you guys just chasing stuff down. Uh, you two can also, or you three can just beat on this. I do not, the last thing I want is for these guys to get shot by, um, archers. See if we can pull back a little bit. What are these? Fire Knights? Okay. I have isolated the boy. The Emperor. It looks like some maker has been shut down. We are throwing, right? Everyone's throwing their shit. Or are you wigging out? I can't tell. I think they're wigging out. We're going to pull these guys back then. See if we can get uh, Choo Choo, motherfucker. Choo-choo. Oh, there's a witch hunter back there. That's interesting. I like how we have this giant blob to kill from. What is your thing again? So this is the, the spawn of Nurgle. I like his ward save. Very fun. Cloud of Flies. When he's engaged in melee, he has plus nine melee defense. Cool. That's cool. Choo choo! Choo choo! I have I've been kind of bubbled up here. Bundled up here. Now, how's your melee stats? 42, 52. You actually have very good melee stats. Wow. Let's get a fecundity. I need a fecundity on these guys, honestly. So we can, like, send these guys after stuff, I guess? Oh, the choo-choo. The choo-choo's winning, team. How's Franzi doing? He's doing okay. I need you to move forward a little bit so you can pin him in. He's currently pinned in the mass of the Chaos Warrior. Perfect. Now he can't move. The Tormentor Sword could be, like, one of the best um, gray weapons in the game because of that. I mean, you know, minus 24 melee attack is nothing to snuff at. Would you guys, like, move through stuff? That'd be really cool. Did the Iron Demon just shoot at the Emperor? Shoot you. I love the Iron Demons. There might need to be a Do Not Befriend the Dowie Czar challenge, and I would fail it, gotta be honest, Tim. Oh, you're out. Hey, could you guys, like, get out of here then? How did this happen? Guys, go find other things to hit. Why are you all stuck on top of each other? Get out there. Lel. Oh. Um, hmm. I think this guy's going to win? I think the Mammoth can kill Franz. It seems unlikely to me. Okay, we're going to win. Cool. Like I said, his stats are pretty good. These things. Their stats are pretty good in melee. Perfect. We'll get a fecundity. Where is the fecundity needed? Bring the trains back. Choo-choo. I'm going to get a fecundity. Ah, Franz is dead. There we go. I'm going to have a fecundity on the flying things, the trains, and the mammoth. And, um... I'll see you on the victory screen. A close vic- This was not close. Look at this. The thing that got the most kills is the Emperor at 16. Everything else got absolutely demolished. I wouldn't trade it to rank 5. Look at that. The Choo Choos. And the Mammoth. The Mammoth did superbly well. Excellent. His love is mine yet again. Get on. Cool. Right, Hammer. Even great men are flawed. Failure is part of mankind's tragic condition. We have defeated Karl Franz, giving us additional unit experience. And we got the Bale Sword for poison attacks and 10% weapon strength. 
I think everyone got a steed. I think we're gonna give that to our not to you. Although you you do deserve it. Okay, I, I will admit. You have enchanted item of every single freaking tier. But we're gonna give that to the the warrior at our side. Time to fight. Look at his melee defense. My goodness. Let's bring up that melee attack, shall we? Commander of Rot. This is our Chaos Sorcerer of Nurgle. You can have the... Um, eventually, I do want him to have a weapon. Because, like I said, I put him on a rock beast and... Wham. Actually, do I want you to have this? Because I does everyone do poison attack by default? We are Nurgle. That's kind of our shtick. You don't do poison attack. Interesting. I'm sorry. Does that over that overrides the armor sunder? Okay, fine, whatever. Whatever. I don't care. Do we want another Chaos Gladiator? Probably. They're fun. I like the Chaos Gladiator. One of Nurgle's greatest strengths is just, like, one of the best ways to use a Nurgle army is to have two Chaos Warriors just go in absolutely fisticuff. I think we're going to end up using uh, Rulek here to take out Igorov, which should be the end of Kislev if I can get this army to go deal with that. We'll see if they agree. Uh, Epidemius is returning south as well, because I want Wolfenberg. This is my gold mine. No one else can have it. I'm not saying I'll go to war over it with um, our Norskin ally, but I am saying it's mine. I'm going to leave that there. It is on the front line. No need to upgrade that. Where is this? It's in a pretty good spot. I really want this back. I think I can buy it. Because I don't want to go back here. I'm, I'm kind of busy. Whichever woeful deity protects you, it ends here. We'll spill your blood. Ah. They are not inclined. Ah, of course. Hmm. It'd be worth building that if it was armies like all armies, but then it'd be kind of OP. Let's build a wall, whatever. My rule of thumb was to always build walls. But after the... This could be corruption. After the... What's her name? The Lady of Nome. I've already forgotten her name. <laughs> Thrones of Chaos wasn't even that long. Or Thrones of Chaos wasn't even that long ago. Gnome. Elspeth. Elspeth. After playing with Elspeth, I got a tip that I should focus on economic buildings over walls because walls don't really provide too much of a benefit in three. Recognizes Stop. You. I mean, eventually I will, bro. Don't worry about it. And I think they're right. Part of the reason why... Thank you. You're doing the right thing. Uh, part of the reason why it was so important in 2 to build walls... Oh, hey, Deathmaster. What are you doing over here? Interesting. It was because in 2, you just had... Everything go wrong. I'm just going to build a plague here. I don't care about this place. Armies would spawn out of thin air. It was awful. I can't believe the Deathmaster is, first of all, alive, and second of all, over here. How strong are you? You have a 17 settlements. 
What? Huh. Oh, hey, I forgot about you. Wow. Okay. I mean, the, the Skaven are doing well for themselves. You have a mission for me? Oh, right. Slay Toddy. Slay Lewin. Ooh. Who shall I slay today? I feel like I've slain a lot of Toddy. Am I actually at war with Lewin? I don't think I am. Yet. Oh, I am. Okay. This is ill considered. Hey, Bellicor. You may think that. Bellicor, I kind of wanted that. Hmm. Okay. Epidemias. All right, Humphrey, this is mine. You know what I should do? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna plague Epidemius. How are we gonna plague him? Melee attack? Sure. I'll do that one. There you go, Epidemius. Spread the plague. Become the plague. Behold the plague. I'll just add one to the tally next to incompetence. There were words that were just said. A stronghold up there. Going back to Kislev. Commander. I don't want to lose Kislev. Damarkan. I think that Zaytan has this under control. There. We'll just send some people out there. I kind of want to fight for Jar Nagrans. They have a legendary building, the Desecrated Temple of Hashut. Uh, which is incredible. It does give me quite the substantial penalty to my relations with the Chaos Doors, but I don't think it's going to matter. And they have an Obsidian Mine, which I'm, I think is a really good resource for me. So Grimgore is down to two settlements. I think we're going to have Tamarkhan wait a turn, and then I'm going to go to war with Zarnagrans. This is what I'm going to do. They're kind of like the, um... I don't think I've discovered them. The Sentinels? Sorry, I should have zoomed out before I did that. I have not. I This entire... All of this territory is black, or er, fogged out to me. But the Sentinels over here, they have the Black Temple of Arkan. This one, I think. Great Mortis Delta. I think it's here. They're basically the same thing. Now I have some vision over here because of Queek. We can take her. Looks like the, the Dowie are hanging out. I'm surprised you're still alive. Surprised, but don't particularly mind. Alright, A and R. Oh. Hey, you take this. I wanted it, I can have it. Get some control. Temmie's chillin'. Rulex in his spot. Which means it's time to do some leveling. ANR is working his way towards a lightning strike. Outpost upgrade available for who? Sure. There he goes, A10. The Do you want to be friends? Let's be friends. Kugath is finally on his way to friendship. He could be getting slapped, but my goal is not to save Kugath. 
I don't care if Kugath dies. My goal with Kugath is to just get him as uh, another legendary lord, and that will be... <gasps> <laughs> Having to uh, Daddy Kugath will mean that um, I have all of the legendary lords for for Nurgle. We'll get we'll have them all. Gotta get some Pokemon. That sort of thing. This is messed up. It's gonna bug me. Okay, hold on. Let me fix this. No, it looks right now. Or good enough. That's fine. So the reason why I was laughing in the weird laugh that I do is because um Reichland came at me. At Epidemius. You dare challenge Epidemius? My heroes alone could solo this army. Probably. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you two and I'm just gonna send you at you. And we're gonna fast forward. Two minute reinforcement. Again, I don't know what these Nurglings are doing here. I suppose we could um trade them in. <laughs> that sounds awful. But we could exchange them for You're getting your ass whooped, aren't you? Oh, there you go. GG. Now, I could end the battle here. But I'm not going to. So, we're going to pull back. It's usually not a good idea to fight in the trees. Especially if you have monstrous infantry like we do. But, you know. What do I know? Am I going to fleshy myself? I guess I am. Okay. Who wants to die? Hmm. Ah, that's a land ship. Send it out, boys. We do have some cavalry coming from the flank. That's fine. We have a bound spirit leech. We'll put on Toddy. You guys are going in. We could throw some some things at these guys. They wouldn't even. Let's get the waddle going. Waddle, 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 waddle. What are you doing? I'm stuck. Are you netted? I'm sorry. Are they, have I been netted? I've been netted! Hmm. Awkward. Have I been unnetted? I'm gonna fuck that thing. How's this going? Ooh. That was a huge charge there. Pull you back. I'll send in the Forsaken. You need to land. Toddy will kill you. I've killed Toddy enough to know that Tani will kill you. Overcast Ramson. Put you on the Luminarch. Where's Epidemius? Epidemius is actually taking damage. Wow. Here we go. Hey. I have a new target for you. He's getting absolutely demolished, though. You probably should have thought about that for longer than 10 seconds. Oh, look. My free spawn is here. Right on top of Toddy! Hmm, it's almost like I planned that. Are you anti lunch? You are indeed. Okay, we'll, we'll stay away from that. How are the Festering Stooges doing? They're hanging out. How are you guys doing? You're hanging out. Three fecundity? Or should we save this for a rot? A fecundity, you sure? I'm not sure if it's gonna do anything. The lovely little nerglings have gotten onto the mortar. The Fecundity has pretty bad healing on single targets, I've noticed. Oh, you're taking a lot of damage here. 
sure would be cool if I remembered that I had, um... That button I have. F the, the fecundity blessing thing? Virulence? That's not a good word. Virulence. Locus of fecundity. I still had unholy hand grenades, wow. Oh. Alright, let's go get the steam tank. Can I chase off the toddy back? Eh. Alright, everyone start stacking. We're gonna do that thing where I just heal everybody with a locus of fecundity. I need to make sure I get here before this dies. Are you on a raw beast? There you are, look at that. Look at the, the Age of Wonders. Age of... Wonder of the Age. There we go. Look at your stats, Kasich. 100 melee attack, 1,000 damage, 100 charge bonus. I'd love to see him. Well, that was pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, that went pretty well. Look at this. We're at like full health. You'll love to see it. 69. Nice. That 4% will top me off. Hey, Grimdor. No. I wasn't going to take 10k. You think I'm going to take 2k? Hi, Bellator. You have me to join the war against Karak Kadrin. Hate to break it to you, bud, but I am going to stay at peace with them for as long as humanly possible. It looks like uh, the Dowie Czar have moved as I requested. It's almost as if that was a reasonable decision. We have infected Grimtop. I wonder if it's like a fully juiced one or if it's a... Ooh, lots of plague spreading. Good. Good. I have been blocked. This is the guy who's killed all of my my cultists. So what if I just turn around? I could collapse this to get a new play going. You really want to try and push the 20? I don't think that's necessary at the moment. I'm not sure how we're going to do against uh, the Dowie Czar. Fighting wise. Like, in theory, we should do well. In a theory. Like I said, I'm just grabbing those. It doesn't matter what they do. Because the Dowie Czar have no healing. But they do almost exclusively fire damage. Which is worth noting. I'll get a Buna, sure. Buna's pretty good. It was nerfed, right? Like some time ago? Epidemius. Thank you. I want this back. The Scourge of Mankind. You love to see it. Oh, Gambler's armor again. Cool. My work. Get mentor, please. Are you also a mentor? You are. Play counter. Okay. Kasich kind of needs to be in his own stack that has like loads of chaos knights and whatnot, but whatever. So, hmm. This isn't that bad. I mean, it's kind of bad. These are all elite Dowies are. <laughs> Doomless. I wonder what his stack is. That would be determining factor here. You think I could take one of these and then bait him into attacking me? Hmm. Magathor. Tomarcon kind of just wins, though. 
I'm not going to call my allies because they'll probably decline. I am expecting them to come out against me. Uh, okay. Ooh. Yes, pull them in. Take from them every. You have three volley guns. Wow. How is this a medium victory? What's the map look like? It should be coming in from behind them. That is a lot of rakes, good. So the auto does. Uh, okay, that's fine. Oh, I have to do a thing for the Vicandites. I like how Bellacor is threatening Luin. Which, again, the Vicandites don't matter. Because I want to build this, but I can't get a thing going. If anyone knows where the Vicandites... <laughs> Vicandites. Uh, where there's a Dark Fortress over here, please let me know. If I could give one and I'm building out those there. Just do it all myself, you know? No. Speaking of doing it myself. Yep. Is this the Hurricane Gaker Core? Oh, it is! Look at that! Those are some pretty gnarly stats, Mr. Warrior Priest. I think we need it. So there's a lot of, like, red and purple units here, which are electric count units. And I don't know all of the electric count units. Like, I know some of them do really weird stuff like these guys. These are crossbowmen with suppression. Like, what the... F hmm. But the real danger here, I got to see what level you are, uh, is their single entities are probably going to slap. They also have quite the ranged advantage, but we can kind of like hide over here. See what we can do with this. See if we can make this work. The most important thing for us will be getting in. If we can get in, it's over. It's all ogre for them. We have the choo-choos, we have the mammoth. If it if we get in, it's all ogre. I don't have any Oh, I guess I have rancid. Okay, we can spam rancid. I'm going to try and stay over here because one of their biggest threats is the, the Hammer of the Witches. They have deployed against the map, huh? If I can get them in a way... So many buttons to press. That was like Control-Alt-Space. <laughs> Just see all that shit. So right now we're blocking we're blocking line of sight. I'm doing things intelligently. Shocker, I know. We can use the soul grinder to peek. Wow. I still can't see them. Where the hell did they go? Oh, sure. So I have to keep an eye on the soul grinder. Just in case. I mean, this is going pretty well. They've really blobbed up for the Soul Grinder. I think they're big mad, team. They're big mad. So what we're going to do, I don't know if this is wise, but we are bringing these guys out of here. You guys go fight that. Every time I hear that, I think Lottie Daddy, we love the scouting. Every single time. 
Okay, you guys are going out. You here, you here. Shut him down, boys. You get out. So here we have the uh, the big scary single entities. Get you out, my dude. Just keeps running. Um, I'm not sure if I'll ever catch those, but you beat on that. Get the spawn in here. Help me beat on this. Make sure nothing can run away. We'll get a rancid on the big boy. I'm sure he has magic resists. Make sure you stay out of here. Good, 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 good. Uh, the trains are kind of fucked, actually. They might have dug too deep. Uh, it looks like we have shattered that guy, which is good. The quest continues. Let's go, Choo Choo. They're on the, Her the Herge Jaeger Corps, which is fantastic. Coming back with the ranged the flyers. They shattered the hammer. Okay. You guys get over here. We kind of have to go this way. This is going all right. That is the engineer. The Choo Choo trains are doing great. Both mortars have been sundered. I might hold for Rot, Glorious Rot. This guy's out of trouble. How's this going? Made him, like, out of it. The Mammoth is out. The Mammoth is out is fun. Let's go, Choo Choo! I don't know what to do with this, team. They're kind of just shooting into me, and I kind of can't stop them. Uh, those are the unbreakable flagellants. We don't really care about them. Choo choo, bench. Shoot them. These guys out. Suppose I could use the flies. Oh, her kicks out. Uh, the flies to chase down the. Rock always rots. Where are we rotting? Right here. Clear the blob. Caster. Every time we use a spell with the spellcaster, we get the Children of Nurgle, which gives us healing. Sorry, did you just have a miscast on a sink on a non upgraded ability? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I don't want to. I don't just want to talk. I just want to talk. I just want to talk to him. GG him. It was a mess. It got messy. But at the end of the day, got her done. Take that ranged cheesing blob. All shall break before the might of Grandfather Nurgle. That went exceptionally well. Look at these trains. Oh, the choo-choo. Part of what makes the endgame Nurgle army so scary is that... Look at my front line. They don't care. They're so thick that as long as you have a back line that can do stuff, it enables them to do anything that they desire. I have like three talismans of endurance. Lord of Nurgle! I love to see it. Just keep fighting, just keep fighting. Oh, you have replenished troops. Oh, I probably should get that. A and R. One away from lightning strength. I suppose you can have Buna, why not? Do we hate Zinch? I actually quite like Zinch. Zinch is my favorite of the Chaos Gods. Wait a minute. Do you have your unique thing? You do. Uh, I'm definitely going to go Warrior Wizard. Yeah. Warrior Wizard on a Chaos Sorcerer riding a Rot Beast? Mwah. Magnifique. Champion of Decay. 
Is there any world in which I don't get the locus of fecundity from Stentridden? I don't think there is. No. No, there's not. It's too good. Even if this just gave Locus of Fecundity, even if it didn't also give 5% Fizz Res, I think this would be the go-to. Locus of Fecundity is just that good. It's so good, and I haven't been pressing it enough. Make sure we get MD for our cultists. Go. We have 10 settlements that have been plagued. Which is not enough. But it does bring us to tier 3, so that's fine. As long as we're above tier 3, I think life is okay. Building upgrade available. I'm kind of rich, so speaking of... Sickliness is next to godliness. Don't you think? This could get me a military access, but I think I'm just going to give this to him. To get uh, this ball continuously rolling. I like how the Dowies are like me. <laughs> like, yeah, you're at war with them, but who cares? Everyone's at war with each other. Oops. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, with the remaining nine grand, what shall we upgrade? Money. This is the great... Sure, we'll make sure those are there. Eventually, we want to make sure that everyone ha has all of the building stuff, and we have, we're have we rotating through it as efficiently as possible, and blah, 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 blah. Oh, I'm broke. Fair enough. Your commitment to no. our cause. You would like a defensive alliance. That's fine. Yeah, sure. I don't care. As long as you don't mean don't mind me taking Jar Nagrand, I'll I'll accept. I'm down. I'm cool. I'm a hip. Is that what the kids say? I don't even know what the... the modern colloquial term would be. My goodness. Alright. Tamarcon, you got your work cut out for you. This could be a crushing defeat. I could lose everything. Alrighty. Oddly enough, there's a 2 minute 14 second reinforcement. Oh yeah, by the way, Pandemusium was coming from the fact that I'm controlling Tamikon. <laughs> Tamikon. Uh, Tamarcon. I didn't know that. And it was nerfed. Um, the reason it was nerfed... Where do I want these guys? It was nerfed because uh, it was presenting some challenges when... The uh, the AI had it. You know, people were trying to overcome that one up. So they nerfed it a bit. I really want to like full Famir. So Tammy's army is gonna try and um, let's go crump them. I think. I like, I'm gonna be super aggressive here. You're on your horse still, right? Yeah. I'm going to be incredibly aggressive. We love the the I'm sorry, there are reinforcements and you... Oh, right, because they have... um. Wait, what? Oh, is a third stack here? Did I not notice that? Oh, shit. Well... So something worth noting is that um, the... Oh, I need to get out of here. 
The Dowies are a deal almost exclusively fire damage. Try and time that a little bit. And, you know, two things with that. Miss. First of all, is this a Bale Taurus? Um, the first thing about that. Oh, you guys need to get out of there. You are way too surrounded. We need a bubble. We need a we need a to stack here. That does reduce healing, so our healing is gonna be less effective than usual. But secondly, our bail toy, which are currently flying around looking for something to do, uh, are not gonna enjoy that. We need to make sure that we stop all this range shit. It's hard to tell what's important to go fight because some of this, a lot of this actually, is um. These are trolls, I think. Ooh, my. Oh, let's go get these. A lot of these are slaves. Our Nurgle Sorcerer is a little wounded. Oh, this is on a single person. Sure. The Vermeer are fighting. Good. We have Fecundity. I think I'm going to pop it on our boy. You guys needed to not land. I really needed not to land them. I didn't really want you in this fight either. Here we go. Are you anti-large? You are both. Okay. Okay. Going this way. Where are you? This is the one I need to get out. We'll get this guy to go over here. Um, I have fleshy. I'm gonna fleshy myself. I'm gonna be selfish here. Okay, we're gonna get these guys out. You're going over here. The reason I pulled this one, uh, this one in, is because he does AoE damage. You're going in for this. Perfect. Your fleshy is doing well. You are what? Great weapons. Get on that guy. You also get on that guy. How's this going? You're kind of stuck. Um... Oh, this is a fat pit of shades. Oh, this is gonna be a fat pit of shades. We can even throw in a rock, glorious rock, or I can hold it. We'll do rock, we'll do rock. Look at this. Look at them evaporate. Now the infernal glaives here are anti-large, so this is a little risky to do both, but um. It's okay. Yeah, that was a fat pit of shades. That might have actually just won this for me. Uh, you need to get out of here. You can milk off something? I can milk off this so it can't chase me. That's funny. We are going to a thousand percent for Kennedy this stuff. Okay. Where is my Nurgle caster? We need more whams! Give me the wham! Are these chosen? I swear to god. The chosen just ran off. I am going to lose some great weapon chosen. This is a huge loss for Tommy Chun. But, um. Yeah, I made a mistake. I should have just, uh, blobbed up. Like, super blobbed up. But hey. We lost the warriors as well. So I lost the... I lost warriors and I lost... Chosen of Grey Opens. They haven't replenished yet. But they might soon. 
I hate the, um, what are these things called? Alcannons? I don't like them. They're not very effective. Oh, hey, the Chosen Warriors are still alive. They're just... There's no world in which these Chosen don't die, right? I'm gonna pull him over here for Evan Kennedy. Which I forgot exist again. I need to pull back a little bit. Um, if I can get Tommy in here as well, that'd be pretty good. I feel like I'm already over here trying to like calculate where my heals need to go. As if I really have the uh, the leniency right now. Okay, healing done. Let's move. Well, at least these chosen are healthy. Death's web is doing great. We have another rot, glorious rot, um, which I think is what we will use it on. While they're all bunched up here, we're gonna need to regroup here. I think. Um, what is this? Is it the Soul Grinder? Rot it pretty good there. Son of God, you can chase these guys down. Make sure we get over here. Vamir's already in. We can send these guys over here. I actually, I probably should keep him. Who do I want over there? We can send this over. The Warriors have returns. Tammy's hanging out. Coming over here. I have no idea what that is. The withering. Okay. Oh, they have a Lamasu. Okay. I see. Uh, we can start a Kennedy. And do a little vomiting here. Eh, that's fine. Ooh, I don't like this. I need my great weapon boys to come back here. Smack those. Uh, I don't want you here either. We'll send Tammy out to go do stuff. Actually, Tammy could fight this. You can fight this as well. Watch, I don't have a single ability for this. I want the soul grinder shooting. I could put him in guard mode, I suppose. That way he shoots no matter what. There's my hero. Bring the hero in here to heal. These single entities. Good, 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 good. How's this going? It's going. Tammy demolished that, as you would expect. The shots are going in. This guy's running. Fantastic, we did it. Wasn't easy. Uh, a little messy, in fact, I would I would say. But I think we got her done. Yeah, the Lord's dead. Come back and kill this. The Lamasu is also returned, which is bold. I'll just do this, which will uh, trigger the passive. So we all heal up. Okay, everyone come back. We're emptying the ammo of the Soul Grinder. What are we working with here? Ooh, those are dangerous artillery pieces. But it looks like we have shattered the enemy. So what I'm going to do, they won't break until the... Um, Crush them what is this? Uh, they're not going to go away until these guys die. Because these are unbreakable. They could die. 
So what I'm going to do instead real quick is kill as much as I can. And clean this mess up. Now that was a heroic victory. I did unfortunately lose the Chosen of Nurgle with great weapons. But all in all, I could have lost so much more. I'm not sure why there were so many units. Um, I literally thought there were three stacks, but okay. Only 100 infections? No, we'll take the, uh, take the two grand. The two grand arena. Looks like the allies are listening to my requests. Have you taken this? Indeed, he has. Wolfric has taken Sarl and Kimmon. Well, at the end of the day... Ooh, that's good. The Rot Beast. Yeah, Death's Web absolutely thumps. Something in the water. So am I at war with you? No. I mean, I need to go get this, but... Uh, looks like Festus has defeated whoever was there. So now it's time for me to uh, take this. Remember, one of our conditions for victory is to hold Talibheim. If anyone knows why that's one of the conditions for victory, I am all ears. I haven't the faintest idea. So Tamarkan uh, did some good work there. Three levels. Yeah. Deserve it, bud. So we're going down the red line now. Um. Fizrez for Chaos Spawn, Plague Toads, and Plague Ogre. I wouldn't mind. Well, I guess we we'll go armor first. You, I need to get replenishing. The onslaught, take the gates of Nurgle, not that I really use them. Infernal Champion is what I would get if I wasn't gonna get to the onslaught. Cool. Lord of Nurgle. Filthy fighter, immune to contact. Ooh, weapon strength of the hero's army. That's pretty good. Ooh, aura pestilence is also pretty good. Or I can just have a freaking... That's right, you get a... A Mortis Engine. That's why you're so bloody good. Well, one of the many reasons why you're so bloody good. So, Tammy Chan, how's this looking? A decisive dub where you lose only your elevated warrior. Really? Really? Because I bet I could do this in, like... Two minutes. I bet the reason he died was uh, to Towers. But this is the unique Jarna Grun map, so you know, you get to look at it for once. This is my first time seeing it ever. It actually seems quite uh, easy to attack. Just run down mid. Now, you may be wondering, what is my plan here? It's very simple. And I guess these two are going out as well. But we're going to take the really weak unit and put them in the corner. Oh, I like how there's no... There's no towers in the front gate. Interesting. Well, all my heroes are going to go here. I guess you guys can follow. I'm literally just going to send to the... The Bale Tori. They're going to go find this guy and kill him. And then... The heroes are all going to go knock on the front gate, and I'm going to fast forward. This is my entire plan. It's a great plan, because this guy's in the sky on his own Taurus. Not a Bale Taurus, but a Taurus. A great Taurus, excuse me. And then once he's dead, they'll have the Lord penalty. We'll just kill whatever we can. Which were those guys. And then we'll go look for more enemies to kill. Once the gate's open, which I think it is now, everyone's going to go this way, towards that. Oh, found more enemies. We'll have Tamarcon. In fact, we'll just go scouting with these. Tamarcon will kill that. See? Told you.
And just like that, zero losses. Did I lost one unit? I don't know what that was. But anyway. Dowizad Doom. And now Ja Nigrund is ours. I'm fortunate to be tier 5 to break, to create the great temple of Hashut Desecrated, but. I was right. I do like the Obsidian Camps. That's why I'm so annoyed they took it. By they, I mean the Varg. Sure, I'll build a wall here. Which one of these do I want? Both, honestly. Okay. That's Jean Nagrunt. If I wanted more Famir. Ooh, Famir Warrior, great weapons. So the biggest difference here. These guys have less melee defense by quite a lot. But they do have anti they're dedicated anti-large. I think I just want the basic ones. Honestly. And I have enough for a second. I'll have another. Oh, but then I have to get rid of the Bale Taurus. Maybe I won't have another. The reason why I wanted the Femir here is because of this. Baleful gener Regeneration. This gives regenerations for Chaos, Frost Dragons, and Dragon Ogre Shagath units, and it gives a horrible regeneration to Cygors, Beasts of Nurgles, Femir Warriors, and Skin Wolves. Horrible regeneration makes it so that dead combatants will come back. So technically, if I can keep them from being completely wiped until they reach their healing cap, these units will all restore models whenever, you know, they heal up. Which is absolutely insane. Although I'm not sure how that works for a Cygor, because a Cygor is a single entity. But my point stands. So in theory, what I should do... I should find a way to give these Bale Tori to someone else and then just have four from here. <laughs> That's what I should do. Also, I am totally going to be interrupted by this asshole. Oh, I'm off my guys. I think I am. This guy, I told you there was a third stack. Look, this guy has the Magma Cannon and the Death Shrieker rocket launcher. He was totally the reinforcing army. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Who wants to die next? It looks like Lewin was killed by Bellicor, maybe? Well, I don't know how. This army sucks. I really want to take Marienburg. But the problem is, if I take Marienburg, I'm going to be attacked by Lewin, and then God knows what else is over here. I should still care of her. I'm just going to step into the water and grab this. Low casualties. That also should give me, like, what, eight grand? No. Oh. oh. Income from all buildings and construction costs for all buildings. Okay. ANR has lightning strength. Demon Prince of Nagle. Sure. Dark Prince The G Tondo. Who is chilling? More research. You require additional research. Unfortunately, my plagues are wearing off. I don't know how that's possible. I know this guy hasn't made it in for like... This will be his third attempt. And he went backwards, okay. Well, that's a stack, I suppose. That's uh, a stack, I suppose.
think what I want to do is I want to go over here. This should be the last defense of Kislev. The last possible settlement they own. I don't know why I scrolled over here. There's an easier way to check. I speak for Kislev. All oh, right, the of course. Most you have all this crap down here. All right, they're not dead yet, but <laughs> it's on the way. Sure. We'll upgrade your outposts. Most available for the Legion of Asgore. Where do you think... That's a Kadai Destroyer. There's no Kadai Destroyer here, but there are Choo-Choo's, and you know how I feel about Choo-Choo's. Kadai Destroyers are kind of bad. There's a Taurus. There's no Bale Taurus here. Oh, no, there is. Okay, sure, we'll go there. There you go, bad. I need to kill the Vecondites. <laughs> How dare you! Worry not, the Nurglings. There. Over a hundred. One day we'll be able... One day. Be able to confederate with him. The easiest way this will happen is if he starts losing... Which might be possible if Deathmaster gets pissed. Looking at his positioning. But, um... Yeah, if he starts losing territory and armies and whatever, then he will be more open to being absorbed. But until that day comes... We wait patiently for the next episode. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the return of Epidemius, the unholy tallyman of Nurgle. As mentioned, I will be seeing the series to its end, to at least the long campaign victory, and then, you know, everything will be up to question from there. Sorry there'll be no Karanak. I know that's the new fancy thing. But, uh, I want to see how this, how Epidemius comes to his glory end. Glorious end, and I hope you do as so thanks for waiting. I appreciate your patience. Thank you to the patrons and the channel members who support the channel. I greatly appreciate you. If you'd like to stay up and have a channel, feel free to join the description down below. And I will see you next time. As we push south with three armies. Hopefully we'll make some progress. Bye.